today we are building a box fort in the woods and surviving the next 24 hours beside this spooky swamp. But because we're box fort experts, this is going to be a luxury box fort to make this overnight challenge a piece of cake. We've been making box forts for a very long time and this is not our first time in the woods. And it was way different back then. But now we are using all of the skills and technology we have to push box fort building to the max and survive out here. But before we get into this challenge, the day didn't start here. In the past, we've done some very primitive survival box forts in the woods. We're stepping it up today with a beautiful five-star box fort experience. Yeah, big! See, the problem with these kind of ideas, logistically, they're very hard. We need to bring a lot of materials. What do you find? It's a magnet. A magnet? For magnet fishing. That's disgusting. No, dude, we could use it to magnet fish. Maybe we'll find like a TV. Oh, yeah, see that? I could pull the bike out of the water. I don't know where Jake's taking us, but this is going to be very difficult. This is what Jake has chosen for us. Whoa! It out. Dude, this is pretty sick. So pretty. Look at the fall right. colors. So all we got to do really is just clear some of this land, make it flat, you know, and then we could build our box for on it. Jake, it looks like we weren't the first people here. Oh. Cardboard! Hey, we got the cardboard! We are trying to do some landscaping. These are all weeds? Yep. Magnificent. Good luck, Jake. Good luck trying to find something. The last time Jake went fishing, he okay. didn't catch a single yeah, fish. I might have not caught fish because those are hard to catch, but I can catch a piece of metal. Logan, we got something. We've got something. No. <laughs> What is that? It's metal. <laughs> wow, congrats, Jake. You just got a metal pipe. Yeah, for our base. Right, Phil? There is a bat shelter there. Is that for bats? Yeah, but they sleep during the day. Let us know in the comments. Is that a bat house? Because I don't want to sleep next to a bat house. Any bats in there? We're good. Jake? Yeah. You might want to stop fishing. Why? I think that's a sewage pipe. Dude, you have us living next to sewage. That's the smell. That's the smell we're smelling. Okay, everyone, just an update. No one should swim in the water. It is 100% sewage. Look over there. Someone made something. Like, I don't even know what it is. It looks like maybe like a fire pit or like that structure. Yeah, did you see it? That's man-made, dude. So you're saying other people are here? I mean, yeah, like it's a forest. There's probably other people or animals, but it just means we got more places to explore. Maybe at night at 3 a.m. Phil has started to clear the area where we are going to build our hut. I like the idea. We started bringing out more of our supplies. We have a generator, which is going to power all of the electricity in the fort, stuff like a coffee machine, a toaster. I want to kind of explore. You know, it's always good to figure out what's around your fort, especially if you're camping overnight. Over there, it looks like people have actually been there. I mean, maybe there's stuff left over, stuff we can use, or it's just a really cool area. The wood that's here is not normal wood. I mean, this is like a proper beam. And over there, I think I see something. This is the object that I saw. It's like a lawn chair that someone used to sit in and look out at the swamp. A paint can just chilling here. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little uh, scared to go over there because Logan told me that this is a sewer. I don't know if that's like radioactive waste. There is a weird looking tube over there. Let me know in the comments down below if you think you know what that is. I'm gonna get back to the camp, report to the guys, let them know that there is a little bit of susness. I don't know. Let me know down below also what you think. Is this kind of freaky? Would you camp here or is this kind of normal? You just find this stuff in the woods. So I was all for building this box for it, surviving the night in the wilderness until I saw the sewage pipe. I feel like this is maybe the worst spot we could possibly go to do this challenge. But no one is going to deny that this spot is beautiful. Now, I do need to let you guys know there's some weird stuff going on over there. So just keep that in mind. Don't go over there. I'm thinking because it's a big circular fort, we'll make the window circular. Bam, circular window almost complete. <laughs> the fort is looking insane. Jake, why aren't you helping us build? I'm taking a small break. You haven't helped us build at all. This isn't a break. I found the place and I did a scouting mission. It's quite nice out here today. That thing's a beast of a monster. Ah! Don't get near that. That thing's got quails on it. That will put you up for a year. I don't know if we can stay the night with these kind of uh, creatures. That's a predatorial caterpillar. Those things eat foxes for breakfast. All right, bro. I'm going to go explore the forest a little bit with Phil. All right, man. We'll keep working on the fort. Hopefully you don't find anything scary in the forest. 
All right, Phil, let's go exploring. Say less. Should we steal Jake's bike? No. Okay, Phil, you know what we're doing, right? What? We're getting out of here. Jake is crazy, man. I am not sleeping here next to some sewage plant. So I say we have a Phil and Logan day and get out of this swamp. Yeah! Phil and Logan day. Phil and Logan day. Phil and Logan day. I made this kind of like walk area here where you can actually go and take off your shoes before you get in the fort. There is a lot of mud around us. So we're gonna wanna take our shoes off if we're gonna be living in here. One thing though that I did make is over here. Not a potty, it's a sitting area. Put your feet down here, sit down, enjoy the beautiful view of the swamp. I think it's pretty cool. All right, Logan, where to first? Trampoline park. Mama. Through the car wash? Oh, let's definitely go through the car wash. All right. Guys, check out the inside of the Ford. I think it looks amazing. We even have the two stories so you can stand up in here. And I mean, you cannot beat that view. I think Phil and Logan went on a uh, adventure hike or a reconnaissance. I don't really know what they're exactly doing, but when they get back, they're gonna be so stoked. We got a bunch of fun games to deck out this fort with. Of course, it's not a Papa Jake 24 hour challenge without our traditional Beyblade tournament, even some table pool. We are fully stocked and loaded with tons of food. I mean, we got eggs, we got bread, we got hot dogs. We have a working generator, so we actually have a microwave oven and even a Keurig machine so we can make hot cocoa. If we don't waste all the electricity heating up our food, we do have a flat screen TV so we can play some Nintendo Switch at night. you there and back. Lose your pace for lunch. You have yourself a deal. Three, two, one. Uh, oh no. <laughs> no. All right, guys, Biggs is back inside, and Chef Papa J has made you a perfectly balanced, well-made meal. Phil and Logan are missing out, so cheers, man. Cheers. You know what? I'm gonna start with the Joe Louis. Switch it up. All right. <laughs> that is amazing. This is the first time I've been able to cook a pizza pocket inside a box for it. For dinner, I think we should have hot dogs and marshmallows. Who would have ever thought of that combo? Not me. How long have they been gone for? We're not waiting any longer. We are kicking off our gaming session right here, right now. Who's gonna get that? Yep, I don't think you can do it. Ever gets their marbles closest to that hole, wins. I got right in the oh! hole! <laughs> the first try! <laughs> Phil and Logan have been gone for quite a while. I wanted to start making dinner anyway. There's a fire pit not too far from here and while we're on our way, we'll look around for them. Hopefully the smell of some nice fresh hot dogs brings them in. And if that doesn't bring them in, then either they abandon us or they've been eaten by Bigfoot. survived in the woods. Logan, Bill, Bigfoot. Whoa, Biggs, you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at the bike jumps, dude. Oh. I'm kind of doing the Biggsy. Oh, Biggsy, I'm not ready for this stuff, Biggsy. Oh. I'm not scared of these jumps. I used to do them when I was 12. So I'm gonna hit the big ramp. Jake, I don't know about if you should do this big ramp. No, no, Jake, Jake. Oh! 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 Oh, I landed! <laughs> oh, that was incredible! 
Well, that was sick. Biggs is gonna look awesome. Yeah, Big Z. Okay. Not as, not as cool as the first guy. Oh. Biggs, that's a mailman. Yo, mailmans are unreal at biking. Uh, yeah. Well, still no uh, Phil or Logan, but um, we had some fun on the bike jumps, and now we're sitting by the fire pit. Let's have some dinner. Like that. Now I'll be nice and I'll make enough for when Logan and Phil do get back. Yeah, they're really missing out on this uh, fireplace expedition. The real question is chips or cookies? Always cookies. I just get a six inch BMT on Italian herbs and cheese. But Bigsy, before we can eat the hot dogs, they have to be served with marshmallow. Aww. We're gonna make marshmallow dogs. Since we don't have buns, we're turning the marshmallows into buns. Just like that, you have a hot dog in a marshmallow bun. Check that out. How sick is that? Let me know down below how much you would want to try one of these. How's it taste? The ultimate combo. This is what I'm talking about. This beats whatever Jake and Bigsy are cooking up. Now, Phil and Logan are not here, and they are gone. Yeah, I'm kind of getting worried about Phil and Logan. They kind of got lost. There's like people everywhere. There's bike jumps. I'm sure they're coming back. Just gotta wait longer. We'll just uh, set up the bets. Jake's gonna take a little nap. I'm gonna go outside. Let me see if I can see Phil or Logan anywhere. I have no idea where they could be. I'm honestly getting really, really nervous. All right, we are back from our little hike. That was the longest hike of all time, Logan. I know, we got super lost. Hopefully the boys are doing well. Wow, this looks like paradise. All right, let's see the boys. Jake, mm -hmm. Jake, Phil and Logan are here. Guys, where have you been? Dude! Where have you guys been? Been. Yeah, where have you guys been? It's been like seven hours. We got lost. We were worried sick. I mean, mostly Biggs. I really didn't care, but I'm just mad. Nothing to be mad about. You don't just get lost in the woods and then magically find your way back. What are those? What are on, what are on your feet? These are just my socks. They're just warm socks for the wilderness. Phil, so take your boots off. What? Take your boots off. I like to leave my boots on. Take your boots off for right now. Okay, taking the boots off. They didn't get lost in the woods. You went to the sock store. You guys went to the sock store without me. You abandoned us for a sh sock store? That's shockingly sh shocked. Oh, uh, what? Okay, Jake, we just got lost in the woods. We're wearing matching socks, no big deal. We're here now. We're ready to survive the night. All right, update for you guys. It is now getting extremely late at night. It's also getting very cold, which is why I'm happy that we packed all of these uh, sleeping bags. I'm trying to be positive. I'm just really upset. I thought they were, uh, you know what, Logan? What I'm trying to say is you went to a sock store and I was worried about you and you were in a happy place and I thought you weren't. I am exhausted. It's been a long day. All right, guys. See you in the morning. Jake. Mm. How's everyone doing? Go back oh, to bed. It's one more hour. 30 minutes, max. Oh, the sun. Whoa. Oh, yo, chill, chill, oh, chill, 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 chill. Oh, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> No way to wake up. Dude. Well, guys, looks like we did it. Barely. Another night in a box for it. You know what, guys? This was so much fun. If you think we should do this again, but in the deep, deep woods, and maybe, just maybe, because Logan and Phil think they're so much better that they can go to a sock store, we put me and Biggs versus Phil and Logan in the ultimate survival challenge where there is no sock stores. In fact, there is no civilization for at least a two-hour drive.